another Agatha Christie book, another Hercule, Hercule Poira, Poira mystery? I, I, I hope I'm getting that right. And well, hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester, and today I have this great book, Peril at End House, by Agatha Christie, as usual, and well, let's get right on to it. Pyra and Hastings. They are on vacations to a nice little corner of the old country. But there they meet Nick Buckley, a beautiful young girl who had seen a little bit of bad luck. Three close to death experiences. And these mysterious circumstances starts to make uh, Eric Yu, the great detective, to suspect something is up. And when she discovers, when he discovers a hole in the hat of Nick Buckley, and when he discovers a bullet on the ground, he decides that the madam is in danger. And she hears about the other three suspicious circumstances. The first one was that three in the three close calls in three days is once on a hillside, the brakes of her car had been tampered with so that if she had driven the car down, it would have crashed into the town side and killed her for certain. And when she was walking in the seaside, a boulder had rolled down and almost killed her, missing her by an inch. And of course, a painting that was hung above her bed. While she was going to the restroom, she realized that the painting had come crashing down onto her bed. If she was there, she couldn't even have called out for help. She would have been crushed to death. And Pora, he knows, I mean Poha or whatever, he knows that something's up. And he declares that Madame, Madame Buckley needs his immediate protection. He first tells Madame to call in a friend. And the Madame calls in Maggie Buckley, a close cousin and a friend. But then, she dies as well, and she was wearing very similar clothes to the madam herself. The murderer must have mistaken the innocent Maggie Buckley for the, mad, for the other Madam Buckley, or Nick Buckley. And with that, she is dead. Another innocent ma girl is dead. Nick Buckley's life is threatened. Can Poira, I mean Poha, can he solve this case? before it is too late. Solving a case where no murder has been committed? Well, you see, I can't go through that, but something that I do want to say is that uh, Poira, well, Pohar and I, we were both outstanding, outsta like, out astounded, because we, I did not expect this book to go in that direction. And let me tell you, do not believe in the obvious ever, even though sometimes in detective books they make it look obvious, then it's not obvious, and then it's the obvious person again. That happens. But in this case, it might not be that. And let me tell you, there might be multiple plots, multiple villains, and multiple schemes from several different people to get what they want. And that is an uncommon trait in mystery. What you just heard about the three attempted, uh, three accidental deaths and all that, well, it's possible. But something about it is a little fishy, if you know what I mean. And let me tell you, that's a typical murder book, if the blurb, what the blurb says, and some of the plot lines that I just showed up for you guys, is, is the main plot line. But... Let me just remind you this, Agatha Christie is no typical mystery book writer. Keep that in mind. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. This was one of the greatest books, mystery books that I have ever read. Hmm, Sherlock, 
your spot is starting to look a little bit shaky. You know, just saying. 